Hello, this is John, and this is Bulldog Tomato Pasta Hot Chicken Ramen from Samyang Foods, out of South Korea. This is one more in a long series of spicy chicken noodles that I'm going to eat for you. You can see this is pretty red looking. Now, typically, the uh, Samyang noodles are already pretty red, but this one is noticeably redder, at least to me, with my eyeballs. Samyang already had a meat spaghetti one that I tried, and initially I thought this might be the same thing, but just like a marinara flavor instead of a meat sauce flavor. Um, but immediately when, I'm, when I open this and put like the sauce in, you really smell super, super tomato-y. Uh, so I was kind of right about that. They, they, it is kind of the same, but it's, it's very different. But the other one definitely had a meatiness to it. This one is very tomato-y. And even the ingredients, when you look at the sauce, the first ingredient is tomato ketchup. So in this packet, you normally get it says tomato pasta on it. This sauce specifically says it's tomato ketchup, which is why it really, 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 really smells like tomato. There's also cheese sauce in the noodle sauce. It also comes with this powder packet. And when I looked at the ingredients of this, I thought it was interesting because the ingredients are mozzarella powder and mixed cheese powder. And the mixed cheeses are cheddar, gouda, and camembert. Who would have thought, like, I'm going to have instant ramen noodles. And one of the ingredients is going to be camembert cheese. Just to, seems like a, a highfalutin type of ingredient. Um, there's butter in there, sugar, parsley, basil, oregano. Um, so a lot of like ingredients that you would get on like a real Italian pasta type dish. So kind of looking forward to all that flavor being in the pasta. Another interesting thing about this one in particular is that most of them say to leave water in when you're mixing the pasta. But this ingredient just says, the, the ingredient instruction says, remove water from the noodles and put sauce and powder in the noodles. It doesn't say anything about keeping anything. So as always, I always follow the directions specifically that it says, that's what I have here. Let's go ahead and try it out. Um, if you saw my previous video before, you know that I had just drank in some of this terrible Mountain Dew spark to hopefully give me a little bit of a, a base in my stomach so I don't get hiccups and so my stomach doesn't immediately start turning on itself from the spice. This one might not also might not be that spicy either. I got like all the noodles to come out in one chunk. I don't think my mouth's big enough for that whole thing. Let's go ahead and take a bite. The spice is definitely there. It's not as spicy as like the 2x for sure, or the challenge for sure, but this is still spicier than your typical pack of ramen. But you could really say for all of the the noodles from Samyang in the, the Bulldog Bokumin category, they're all typically spicier than your average noodle. I don't know about some of the non bulldog varieties of Samyang noodles. I think the only one I've ever had that, from Samyang that wasn't a bulldog noodle was their sriracha noodles. And, you know, sriracha spicy, but it wasn't as spicy as their bulldog. I know they have things, they have things that aren't spicy. I just never had. I'm gathering up beard whiskers when I'm eating, which uh, is not a good thing. Here we go. So 
So like the tomato flavor, it's good. It's there. But uh, given how it smelled, and given how the first ingredient was tomato ketchup, I'm not getting as much tomato flavor as I thought I was going to. You know, it's probably it's probably the spice that's like really taking over. There still is the chicken powder in the ingredients as well. <clears throat> One thing that remains consistent across all the Pokemon Pokemon. Bulldog Bokumyan from Sangyang is that they're all hot chicken flavors. They all have their individual things that they spice it with, but the base is hot chicken. So you're still going to taste a slight chickeny flavor in each variety. That's definitely in here as well. One thing that I didn't bring with me here was a napkin. And that's really would be nice just to collect uh, my nose drippings. You do get like some cheesy some cheesy flavor to it. There's a lot of different flavors going on here. So you have, as I said before, the base of chicken. Then you have the tomato. But then you have the cheese as well. And they all have to compete with a relatively decent amount of spice. Down to like the little bits. Chopsticks are really hard to get little bits from, if you don't know. If you're not very proficient in chopsticks. I think I'm better than the average American with chopsticks. Really not enough to brag. There you go. Whew. Tomato pasta from Sawmill Foods, product of South Korea. It doesn't say anywhere on here what the Scoville heat units is. If I had to guess, it's probably lower than the original, which is about 4,400. It's probably somewhere around 3,000, I would say. Definitely more spicier than what we're used to with packaged ramen here in the States, at least. This one, as far as how it ranks in my favorites for other ones, it's right around the middle. I don't think there's anything necessarily too delicious about this one. I think Carbo is still probably my all-time favorite when it comes down to flavor and everything. But it's good. Um... It's definitely around like the seven and a half out of ten range. Uh, I only got one of them, but uh, would I eat it again? Sure, it's good. Excuse me. Anyway, that's for this. It's for this video. As for being Hochi, we'll see you later. Bye.